you heard Joe talking about Lake Okeechobee. There's 190,000 tons of legend phosphorus in the sediment of Okeechobee Lake. Every time the wind blows, it comes back up into the water column, and we simply, it's just too dirty to send south as it is. Now, one of the, the big victories that we've had this last year is that back pumping into the lake has finally been officially declared legal enough times to where maybe this time it will stick. And the man that, in, in Florida that is mostly responsible for that effort, and for a lot of others, is, uh, is our friend David Guest. David works for Earth Justice and has for more than 30 years been defending us and our water and our futures and our safety. So please give a good welcome to David Guest. Good morning. What's happening here is we are not complying with the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act stands for one single principle. It's personal responsibility. If you have a house and a backyard, you can't take your garbage and throw it over the fence onto the next door neighbor's property. And that's exactly what they're doing when they dump their pollution into our water. Personal responsibility. And our government is aiding and abetting those violations. Where the pollution comes from, in large part of Lake Okeechobee, is uh, intensive factory cattle operations in the watershed. That they are polluting at something like 40 to 100 times the legal limits. 40 to 100 times. Anybody else would get arrested for that. But why it happens is because our government doesn't enforce the law. And it's because our politicians don't make them do it. They know how to do it. They actually operate canals, little ones and big ones, all over the watershed. And they convey the dirty water from those farms down into Lake Okeechobee. That's what's happening. They need to stop using those canals unless the water is clean. Second, the Water Management District needs to give up on the legal war to authorize them to back pump. We won it in court, we won it twice, and they're appealing it again, they'll probably take it to the Supreme Court. The Water Management District needs to comply with the Clean Water Act too. And third, what they need to do is stop operating Lake Okeechobee as a, a reservoir for water supply for Big Sugar. And they stop. And that's what the core of the problem is, is that uh, the Lake Okeechobee water used to go south, and it used to be clean. And now what they do is they use it for water supply in the dry season to drop it down, and they use it as their private sewer in the summer to back pump into the lake. That's why it's so contaminated. And that's water management district. They're owned by agriculture, they're owned by the government, and they need to stop. So what we need to do is we need to comply with the Clean Water Act, hold people accountable, uh, run the clean water south, and you folks are the ones that can make the politicians accountable. The answer is no. You've got to say no. It's time to comply with the Clean Water Act.